Hello and welcome, my name's Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to run Game Maker Studio 1.3 on your Mac. Now the first thing that we're gonna need is a piece of software called Parallels Desktop. Um, they've just released version 10, um, it's 90 Australian dollars, but uh, I'm just gonna use the trial version for now just to make sure that this process works. And if it does, then you will be seeing this video on my YouTube channel. So the first thing I've done is I've gone ahead and downloaded this. Now, I've upgraded my actual PC to Windows 8, so I have a spare Windows 7 um, key, so I'm going to be using that. So you do need to have a copy of Windows. You can use any version of Windows that you like, uh, made in the last you know five years or six years. Uh, I wouldn't use Windows XP or anything like that. And this process should probably work with um, all versions of Game Maker from 7 and upwards. So I've gone ahead and installed Parallels on my computer. Now the first thing I'm going to do is actually open that application up and install my copy of Windows 7. Now you'll see this is a trial, so I'm just using trial software for now, but I will probably upgrade this. Um, and you can obtain this however you like, uh, you know, what I mean. Uh, so install uh, Windows, basically, so I'm just going to say that again. Install Windows or another OS from a DVD or image file. Now I've gone ahead and downloaded an image file. Um, that's the Windows 7, it's called x17-59186.iso and that came from the official Microsoft website. And now I'm going to select continue. I'm going to select continue, there we go. Uh, now I need to type my serial number in. Now I've got my serial number written down here on my piece of paper. So I'm going to type that in, that is, I'm actually going to blow this out so you can't see it because this is my serial number and you'll need to use your own serial number. So I'm just going to type that in and I'll probably speed this section up for you so you don't have to listen to me ramble. There we go. So once you've typed your serial number in, uh, make sure express installation and this version requires product key is selected and then select continue. Now when you get to this section here, make sure you select that you want to use your installation of Parallels for games. Uh, what this is going to do is it's going to allocate certain amount of resources uh, that you would otherwise not get. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install this on my SSD hard drive. Uh, I'm sort of running out of space already, but that's fine. Uh, so I'll just select continue. And this is going to go through a process where it now creates me a virtual machine and configures it and installs Windows all for me uh, quite easily. So I'm just going to let this go and I will get back to you guys when this is done. Okay, now as you can see, I've got a fresh installation of Windows 7 now running inside of Parallels on my Mac. Now, as long as your CPU is uh, quite new and most modern Macs, even MacBook Pros will have this, um, you'll have virtualization technology running, which basically allows you to run another operating system inside of your existing operating system at near native speeds. So we shouldn't encounter any speed issues doing this. There will be a slight performance overhead, but nevertheless, it's a nice workaround to get Game Maker working on your Mac. So the first thing I'm going to do is select this Windows 7 box, and I'm going to go to View, Enter Coherence. Now what this is going to do is it's going to make it so that Windows runs almost as if it was a native part of um, OS X. And I can demonstrate that by selecting Windows 7 down here in my dock and you'll see the start menu up here. So I'm just going to start Solitaire so you can actually see that it is actually running a Windows application inside of Mac. I can drag it around, I can maximize it and minimize it uh, and it works perfectly. So I'm just going to exit this and now what we need to do is install Game Maker. So I've gone ahead and downloaded Game Maker Studios installer from their website and placed that on my Mac's desktop. So inside of my Windows 7 installation, I'm now going to go to computer and then I can go to my home drive on PSF. And I don't know what that stands for, but it's basically my Mac's hard drive. Uh, from there, I can select desktop and you'll see I've got the Game Maker Studio installer right here. If I double click on that, it will launch the installer. I can close this folder now, and you'll see that we've got the Game Maker installation screen now running on our Mac. If we follow these steps through, it should install perfectly and then present us with the option to execute and run Game Maker on our Macs. So let's uh, wait for that installation to complete, and I'll get back to you guys when that's done. Okay, now that the Game Maker installation is completed, we can select Next and then just select Start Game Maker Studio 1.3. 
This is going to do a quick update just to make sure that all the files are current and then it will ask us uh, if we would like to receive our updates from the stable or the beta channel. Uh, in this installation I'm going to use the stable environment because I'm going to be using this machine for production from now on. And you can see Game Maker is appearing in our dock down here as if it was a native application. Um, oh, it didn't ask me if I wanted to, which, um, sorry, it didn't ask me if I wanted to use stable or beta. That's fine. For now, I'm just going to use the free edition because I don't have my uh, serial number on this machine yet. So I'm just going to select use free edition. That should provision my account and license the application. It will tell me that it needs to be restarted, which is fine. So Game Maker is going to close. Uh, all we need to do to reopen it again is just click on our little start icon down here and then go to just as if you were on Windows, start all programs, Game Maker, and then select the Game Maker Studio icon. Now, I do believe that we can create a shortcut to that which will exist on our Mac. And I'm just going to quickly attempt to do that now just by right clicking and go pin to start menu. Oh no, that's the wrong place. I wonder if I can just drag that. There we go. Um, so yeah, all I had to do to get that working was just drag that onto my desktop here. And now even if this wasn't running, if I close this, I should be able to just double click on this and it will start the application up just as if it was a native application. So anyway, Game Maker is running on our computer now. I'm just going to select new. Um, we'll call this Brian's test project. Create. And as you can see, everything is working as it should. I can create sprites. Um, I'm just going to edit the sprite, uh, open up the image editor. It's working absolutely perfectly. That's my, there we go. As you can see, I can draw, I can make all sorts of stuff. So this is just going to be a little smiley face person, I suppose. We'll just give him a smiley face. Oh. Bloody game maker. There we go. Um, and we'll give him a smiley face. Because he's very happy that he is now working on a Mac. Mm, yeah, I'm happy with that. There we go. Select OK, save that. And just to make sure that everything's working, I'll create that as an object. Just call this object player. I'm not really making a game here, guys. I just want to show you guys that this actually does work. Put that inside of the room. Let's put a whole bunch of them in the room. And launch the game just to make sure that it is working. Which it should be. And as you can see, we have a game running inside of Game Maker Studio. Oh, I did the Windows shaky thing. Uh, let's have a quick performance benchmark and have a look how this runs. If I enable the debugger. Oh, it's going to pop me up like a million windows. That's fine. What sort of frame rates are we getting? Uh, I don't know how you do frame rates in the new one. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll stop the project and then we'll have a look. Well, there you go. So our frame rate that I was receiving just then was 3,000. That was the minimum. The average frame rate was 8,243 frames per second. So that is definitely working on our Mac absolutely perfectly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and good luck using Game Maker on your Macs now in the future. Um, everything should be working perfectly. Uh, you can just jump in here and start changing things. And the other thing that you'll be able to do with this is you'll also be able to install the, um, if you have the Mac exports in your Game Maker, you'll be able to install the, what do they call it? The application oven on your Macintosh and connect your Game Maker to that and actually generate Mac uh, games straight on the Mac. That'll be another tutorial for another day. So for now, Good luck, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter. Like the video. Share the video. Favorite the video. Add it to your playlist. And, I don't know, spam your best friend with smiley faces on Skype. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.